Follow my keep profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Sniffing out the college football 25 cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys the very first offensive play that I'm going to put out in all of college football 25. The reason I haven't put anything out yet is because I was waiting until my first ebook was done and it's finally complete. It took me so long. It's massive. It's like 63 pages long. And and that's the Georgia Offensive ebook. Link in the description and the top pinned comment, as well as on my website, madmoneyshot.com, if you guys want to check that out. Which I told you guys when I put out my best playbooks that that was number one to me. It was really number one because it has so many bunch formations. It has the halfback cluster, it has the bunch, the, the bunch by flex. So many of these are meta. Oh, and it also has the bunch in the single back. So I know a lot of people really love bunches. But you know me, if you watch my channel, you know I'm not into bunch. I don't run bunch at all. I like tight formations. I run this formation a lot. I run the wing slot a lot. But the formation I'm going to show you guys today is actually a trips formation called the gun tray open offset. Now, there's a couple of tray formations in there. They also have the halfback strong. Trips formations are very OP in any football game. But the play I'm going to show you guys today, like I said, this is to me the easiest one play touchdown in the entire game against just about every single defense. And that is the PA read. Now, when you run this offense, just make sure that you have your fastest receivers at the top three spots. And just make sure to manually substitute your fastest receiver to this outside receiver position here because this is where you're going to be the most of the one play touchdowns come from and then we're going to go ahead we're going to pick the play i'm going to show you guys some dink and dunk things you can do with this before i show you guys a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game so let's go and let's pick that on defense we're just going to go uh random for now but before i do if you guys could help me out for all the times that i've helped you out like share comment subscribe all that stuff really helps to build this channel as it basically improves my chances and the metrics of getting this video spread out to more people so if you guys could do that i really appreciate it other than that's going to get right into the video now as far as the setup there really isn't any setup you could run this play just like this i can tell from the look of it it looks like a cover two pretty much every receiver on the field will get open against cover two with the exception of the running back as that's pretty much the only route that won't as you can see right here we almost got a one play touchdown on the very first play if i would have held the ball a little bit longer and i'm already going to go to the replay to see what happened because that was if you looked at it from the way that i'm looking at it i'm pretty much reading these receivers from front to back as this receiver here is going to be the first read he's also obviously the closest he got all caught up in the wash but the next receiver too same thing he really didn't get around his jam very well but what happened to this receiver for some reason this receiver outside here just slips right past him without getting jammed and he'll do that every single time against every single man coverage and it was to the point like i said if i would have held that ball through it a little bit later definitely would have been a one play touchdown and that's pretty much the theme of this video is that B receiver is completely broken. If I want to help those receivers out though, I can motion this X receiver and put them on a streak just to pull back zones. And that will help to get these crossing receivers open, especially against zone coverages. As you can see right here, we get another play. That was the RB route that time. It was not the B receiver as I was waiting for him to cross. So you can basically do that. But to be honest with you, I really don't want to sacrifice the comeback route because against man coverages, that will get open quite a bit. Looks like we might, I don't know if we got to cover zero or what, but like I said, once again, that B receiver, you always got to keep an eye on him because he always just splits through and gets open. But I don't want to necessarily lose the comeback route because that is a really good receiving option, especially against man. As you can see, he'll just come back underneath any man coverage for a, a last check down. And the running back a lot of times is going to be a very good check down against zone. As you can see right here, especially against a blitz like that, you can just take that underneath and just get as much as you can. So pretty much every receiver here has a purpose. So next up, I'm going to show you guys some one play touchdowns. I'm going to show you guys how to score against every single defense in the game with just one adjustment on this play. Let's go and let's pick that again. We're going to start off with cover zero, even though I feel Feel like we already saw a cover zero but let's go and let's pick the zero blitz now against cover zero you really just want to check and release the running back and you want to slide protection until you pick up the actual blitz but I want to show you guys how you can make one adjustment and score against every single defense in the game so you don't have to read a defense if you're not good at it. And all you ever have to do is put the A tight end on a streak, and that's going to be it. Now the B route's going to score against everything, but like I said, you don't really need that 
uh, considering that's not really important here. As you can see, we just cross uh, that star cornerback, uh, mostly because we have a really fast receiver. But you can see how easily he could score there. And cover zero might have been the most difficult defense. We're going to go to cover one hole next. Same setup, really easy. We're just going to fire right through these. We're going to put the A streak or the A tight end on a streak once again. And he actually bumped the cornerback off this time, making my job even easier. We'll go ahead and do that again because you're not always going to get that interference. But just to show you how easily this route beats man, even without him running into the tight end, which like I said, it won't happen on every play. But you can see he still beats that receiver or that cornerback across for another easy one play touchdown. Cover two man is even easier because that receiver will not get pressed. As you'll see here, that receiver a lot of times will just slip right past the press and he's gone by a mile. I don't know why that happens, but it looks like he's shot out of a cannon every single time for another one play touchdown split in the safeties. And that's what makes this route so crazy is it looks like it's gets shot out of a cannon as this star cornerback is about 10 yards behind the second the play starts. Cover two zone works the same way. Cover two is going to be the one defense where you have to make a change because the A streak is not going to be enough to get this B receiver uh, splitting the safeties. You have an opportunity, you'll still have a big play. But realistically, you want to put the X receiver on a 10-yard out route to split those safeties. And now you'll have a one-play touchdown uh, against cover two. As you can see here, that one safety is really far away, giving you a much easier catch and run opportunity up the middle. But for things like cover three, it goes right back to normal. Because you already have a comeback route holding that cornerback down. So streaking the A tight end will pull the safety back and it'll give a very easy path for a one-play touchdown to that B receiver once again once he crosses that safety. Cover four match is going to be the same way. So let's go and let's pick cover quarters. Same setup, just streak that A tight end to pull the safeties back and you'll see how that B receiver will get open once he crosses one more time as he was actually a little bit double covered there but it still didn't matter as neither one could stop him that was matching cover four but it works the same way against non-matching cover four as all you have to do is streak that a receiver again and the x will hold that cornerback down allowing the b receiver to get open over the top once again for another very easy one play touchdown once he crosses the safety and that also includes things like cover six and cover nine. So let's go ahead and let's pick cover six. This is another defense where you just put the X receiver in a 10 yard out route, just like cover two or Tampa two. And you'll see how it'll have that exact same effect of holding that safety out, allowing you another easy one play touchdown just by putting the tight end on a streak. Even works against things like cover nine. So let's go and let's pick that. Another play where you just streak that tight end. That's all you got to do. It'll pull back the safety and the B receiver's gone by a mile the second he cuts inside. As we have another one play touchdown against another defense. As we essentially hit a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game with one simple adjustment for the most part. So that's, that's the video. If you guys want to see more tips videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, like button, let me know in the comment section. If you want more tips, they'll be popping up on the screen right now. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.